on Reef Builders, Evan Montgomery coming at you here at the Reef Builders studio. We've got a really exciting day planned today. Uh, we, we're going to do some work here on the Red Sea tank. This is one of our longest running tanks here in the studio and it's still not quite the full blown reef that we want. Uh, mostly because a lot of the, you know, our goal with this tank was to do a lot of Montiporas. Uh, and one thing about Montiporas is there's Montipora eating nudibranchs that can get in there sometimes. So we took a lot of the corals that were originally in this system and we've had them kind of staged over in the coral flats there um, and really keeping an eye on them, picking off every nudibranch, covering their eggs with glue, uh, the whole nine yards. And at this point, we're pretty confident that most of them are clean enough to bring back over here. Um, so we're gonna take one final look, make sure they're all cleaned up, ready to go. Um, and then we're gonna start planting some corals in here and make this the full reef that it should be. Well, all right guys, that was fun getting stage one of this project uh, finished up here. We got about eight or nine uh, corals from the coral flat over there all cleaned up. We have them staged down here in the sump right now. We're gonna give them just one more quick look over before we actually put them in the tank. And we also didn't wanna just drop them straight into the tank and uh, have them kind of jumbled up. We wanna really take our time, put them in there one at a time and make sure that they're in the right place where they're gonna look good, not grow into each other, get the right amount of light, flow, all that good stuff. Um, we got an anacropora that's been kind of hanging out in the sump down here for a while. We cleaned that up as well. So we're gonna move that uh, somewhere in here. We're gonna go ahead and cut up a few of these digis and kind of uh, scatter them around the rocks a little bit and uh, just spread things out a little bit so that it's not one massive colony and then, you know, uh, at one point it will be a massive colony once it all grows together. And then we got some little chips of uh, Jedi mind trick that kind of came off in the process of cleaning up the, the corals. So we're just gonna glue those in, kind of scatter them around on the rockscape in here. So we're gonna get started on that and uh, we'll take you along for the ride.
we made some real good progress. As you know, in this hobby, nothing happens fast. It's all about baby steps, taking your time. Um, and I think we made some real good progress today. Like I said earlier, we took uh, eight or 10 corals out of the coral flat uh, one behind me over there and cleaned them up, got a lot of Lonia off, did not see any Monty nudibranchs on them, which is our primary concern. Um, so everything was looking real good that we put in here. And then we had some, uh, some corals that were already pretty clean. So we'll start, uh, we, this colony of Anacropora here, it's a pink, Anacropora was actually already in this tank, but it was all one chunk. So we cut that up into four or five pieces and stuck them all up in the rocks there, and that's going to take over and look awesome. Uh, I have to confess, while we're speaking of Anacroporas, the red TNT Anacropora down here, I was uh, trying to cut the nub off the bottom of a frag plug that it was attached to, and just the shock from, you know, when, the, when it snapped off, uh, broke that into several pieces, and I feel pretty bad because Jake's been growing that for a while. Um, but I glued it all back together. It looks a little bit sad right now, but uh, it'll, it'll come back around. Um, this Anacropora is that sad one that has been down in the sump for a while. That got a nice spot in the cave, not too much light. Um, moved a couple things around, leather coral, stuff like that. Uh, one of my favorites that we were messing with today, oh yeah, we'll talk about the Lang Sai cap while we're on this side. Um, this is a classic coral. This is a looking a little bit pale right now because it's been uh, kind of hiding over in the corner in no man's land. Oh, it's in a bit of a bright light tank. Right, it's been, uh, exactly. So. That is going to just, in contrast with the red one behind it, look outstanding once that takes over. Those purple rims are going to pop. Purple rims will be outstanding. Yep, that'll look super nice. Um, these pipe organs down here is what I was going to mention uh, is one of my favorites. This one up top is the more typical pipe organ that you see, um, but Jake found some real funky ones, um, and they've also been kind of just waiting for us to do something with them for, for longer than we probably should have waited. So they got a little corner over here on this bommie with uh, some other pipe organs, and those are all going to come together and look real good. Um, these three are some interesting ones. Jake just brought these back from the Great Barrier Reef not too long ago. They were in that box of corals that you saw two or three weeks back. And those are just some funky, bumpy Montiporas. I don't think we know exactly what they are, but those were some of the corals I was talking about that were super, super clean because they're practically straight from the reef. So they hadn't had that chance to accumulate all the funk that sometimes builds up in our tanks. Um, these are, you know, some of the corals that have been in here the longest that we didn't have issues with the pests, like this uh, varicosa here. That's one of my favorites. That's a chunk from my tank at home. And that thing is just doing great. You know, it's encrusting, branching, and plating all in one. So you get a little bit of everything with that coral. Uh, we mentioned the red Monty cap there in the middle. That thing has just been doing well as always. It's also a little bit pale right now. It's uh, been a very nice placeholder. It has been a very nice placeholder, that's right. <laughs> and uh, a couple weeks ago, we trimmed it up a little bit because it was getting a little little out of hand. The Satosa up here, always a favorite, still doing well. Doesn't care about anything. No. And then, uh, I forget, what, what were you saying, that green one right next to it as well? Samarensis. Samarensis, yep. Solomon Islands. That thing has continued to do very well. Uh, that was another coral, like today we took this uh, forest fire digi and split it up a little bit. And we did that same thing with this coral when we originally started this tank. So you can kind of see the before and after of what these corals can do. Instead of leaving them all in one colony, if you spread them out, give them some surface area, they can really, uh, they can grow a lot faster that way. And you might've noticed that we are not done. I mean, there is still a big open space in the corner here. We're reserving that for a big chunk of uh, Montipora undata that we have. Uh, that's another longtime favorite. Um, but you know, the studio overall is just really hitting a stride. Um, you know, the chemistry of all the tanks now, I was just looking in the, in the workshop back there, we have them all written down on a note card. And across the board, from system to system, it's you know within a very close range of one another. The tanks are all really close, and the chemistry has been staying stable as well. So we're really shooting for a, an alkalinity of about 9, 9.5, calcium around 450, and the magnesium is usually around 1350 to 1400, somewhere in that range. And with those numbers, you know, we've really noticed once you hit those targets, things just really do a lot better. You know, we were mentioning the, the couple of these corals are pale, uh, don't have their full color yet, but after looking at the chemistry on this tank, uh, I, I think it's not going to take long before everything just really takes over and uh, the colors really start to get that extra pop. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this little update from the studio today, uh, given the Red Sea tank a little bit of a showcase. Um, you, you know, you've seen a lot of the other systems around the studio recently, and this one hasn't uh, gotten an update for a while. So uh, that's kind of what's been going on with the Red Sea uh, tank today. So if you enjoyed that, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and the notification bell and tell all your friends.
Peace.